Live Action founder and president Lila Rose joins me now. Lila, welcome. Tell me what concerns you the most about the transgender movement. Well, listen, first of all, looking at what you just said about Canada, I'm going to say something crazy. Men do not need tampons, Rachel, and the Canadian government would be wise to figure that out. But, you know, it's deeply concerning because womanhood is an incredible, beautiful gift, and it's something unique, and it deserves its acknowledgement in society. And to have that completely uh, just hijacked by activists who are calling it a human rights abuse to call a man a man, uh, the human rights abuse in America today is the fact that we kill 2,500 babies in the womb every single day. It's not that we are treating people with mental health problems and saying, oh, accidentally calling them a, a, the wrong a pronoun, as they say, when really it's a problem to elevate a mental health problem as the identity of a person. So I think we need a heavy dose of reality here in the U.S. and in Canada and, and throughout the West. It's, it's, a, it's a problem creeping throughout the Western world. Yeah, there's no question about it. What lessons can you learn or can all of us learn? from the way that that Delta employee handled that situation. I mean, the Delta employee was polite, but he was firm and he wasn't going to play games. I mean, I think it actually hurts people who struggle with gender dysphoria to play games with their reality and to say that, no, you are not your own sex. You're actually some other idea you have about yourself. It actually is going to hurt them in the long run. We know from stories of detransitioners like Chloe Cole and others that this whole game that we're playing with younger people, especially to say that you can change your biological sex, which is completely false, you can't actually harm harms them in the long run and they want to detransition later in life and they struggle with uh, physical problems because of the drugs and the hormones that they were given and the treatments that they were given. So I actually applaud the Delta employee for standing firm in reality, being polite, being kind, but saying I'm not going to play this game and call you something that you're not. Yeah, it's a great point. As for Justin Trudeau, I can't understand why that weirdo wants <laughs> tampons in the bathrooms. I just, I, I, I don't know why they want to impose that lunacy on everybody. But clearly, this is an, a, a, an ideology and an agenda that has, is, has sees, I see no sign of it abating. Um, and that's why it's important that we're talking about it. I want to thank you for joining us, Lila. Thank you, Rachel. I mean, we don't call babies babies in the womb anymore. We don't call men men anymore, women women. We need to get back to reality, and that starts with biological facts. Yeah, back to science. Follow the science. Thank you, Lila.